On Friday the 13th of May, which is in week three of term two, we will, we will be celebrating the life of our founder, Blessed Edmund Rice. It's a highlight of the year for our college, and this year we thought we'd tell you a little, about, a little bit about Edmund and why he's more than just the founder of our school. Edmund started working for his uncle in the poor city of Waterford. He started helping those in need around the city. He was always helping out the poor kids who hung around the docks and he realised that education was the key to break the cycle of poverty he saw around him. He felt that God was calling him to do something about it. In 1804, the first Edmund Rice School was opened at Mount Sion, south of the town of Waterford. Edmund initiated his own curriculum of liberating education that was designed to free the students of the bonds of social injustice at their schools spread across Ireland. Here at St Joseph's, we are a community of over 2,000 staff and students. Throughout 2022, our theme is Anything is Possible with God, which calls us to give the best of ourselves. We are a community which has already made an enormous difference to some of the poorest communities in Africa. St Joseph's Primary School in Conseca had just three mud brick buildings, meaning many students didn't even have a classroom to learn in. The students of St Joseph's Primary now have two new large buildings which collectively make up the kindergarten and grade three and four classrooms. In just one year, the school has grown from 120 to over 400 students. Four years ago, the St Joseph's Conseca Vocational Senior School was established. This school now provides low-cost education to students from poor families within a radius of at least 24 kilometres. Poverty is a massive challenge for the Conseca community and school, but our assistance with the infrastructure and education of the young people will slowly ensure that the community thrives. Funds raised this year will be directed internationally in the Uganda and Timor-Leste. In Uganda, we hope to continue to help provide food and education for students at the vocational school and help finance a much needed second classroom block. In Timor, we plan to support the community of Vekeki, our partner school. Vekeki supports students from year seven to nine and currently has 525 students enrolled and is supported by 41 staff members. We will also be supporting the Caritas Ukraine Appeal as we pray for peace. Locally, we hope to provide support for Edmund Rice Camps, which provide holiday programs for children from poor and refugee families as well as Lifeboat, which provides support for survivors of sexual abuse. Finding God in everyday acts of kindness, helping others to do their best, and finding ways to really help those in need. This was Edmund's way. As you see his face around the school, he might just seem like an old dude, but he's got a lot to teach us about one person's actions can change the world. And remember, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Even the smallest actions can have the biggest impacts. Please donate by going to the Joey's website. Alternatively, you can bring your cash donation to your homeroom teacher. Let's have a great day on Friday, May 13th and celebrate Eddie's honour. See you then.